Flood. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Summer of Carnage right here on the Venom Vlog. And here we are, Absolute Carnage number two. Uh, I'm going to do try to do spoiler free of this if I can, but there's going to be some things I talk about. So just in case I go off on a tangent or I talk about something that is a spoiler, I'm going to give away the digital code right now. So boom, there you go. Uh, courtesy of House of Secrets in Burbank, California. Check that out. Go get the digital comic. First person to put that code in gets to read it themselves. And don't worry, we have a lot more digital comic uh, codes coming up today because we are as, I think there was this issue and then like a Venom issue, Lethal Protectors issue, and a Miles Morales issue, all that came out today. So I'm going to be reviewing all of them. I'm, I'm reading Absolute Carnage now because I bought the digital copy so I could do this early and get ahead on my videos. Uh, but then I'm going to be leaving for the comic book store in about an hour here, and I'm going to go pick up the other issues and review them later this afternoon and try to get those recorded before I go on the Venom Maniacs podcast tonight. So again, if you're a Venom Maniacs fan, if you're a fan of the Venom site and everything, check out their podcast. I'll put a link down below to the episode that I'm in. Uh, we're going to go live tonight. And so so if it's not there now, it will be there later. So come back and check on this video and it'll, or, you know, watch my next couple videos uh, because they'll definitely be in a pinned comment in those videos as well. So I'm going to try to show them some love and give a lot of chances for people to click on that link and listen to the episode uh, because we're going to do full spoiler uh, discussions on all four issues that came out today. So that's why I'm going to try to keep it spoiler free ish here. So that way I can dive into the spoilers on their show. Uh, so yeah, definitely go check it out over there at the link in the pinned comment. Uh, so yeah, Absolute Carnage number two, um, it starts off, it's got, you know, uh, some great, this great image uh, by uh, Ryan Stegman of Carnage, and it's like his different personas, the dead, decrepit, you know, uh, you know, de decomposing uh, body down here, his face, his human face here, his wavy hair up here, the null Carnage mask in the background. Um, I thought that was great. My favorite thing in this issue is the thing I didn't expect uh, them to go down the, ro the this road, but it makes sense to me because I think it's going to be... So me and Swordsman and a couple other people, we've talked about like our theories on like if, if you know, and, and things about like Carnage. I think he's going to maybe turn on Null at some point. Maybe he won't. I don't know. Uh, but what I like about Norman Osborn slash Cletus Cassidy, the, the Norman Osborn that thinks he's Cletus, that has the personality of Cletus Cassidy, uh, and he's now he's a Carnage, and he looks more like traditional Carnage. So I love this, because now we have a, a, someone who looks like traditional Carnage, and we have the new Null Carnage. Talk about having your cake and eating it too. Donnie Cates and Ryan Segman, that was a genius idea honestly i think that's really a smart idea and what i like is the tension that builds between these two because carnage or cletus does not like to be treated uh like like norman and that's what uh big carnage you know no carnage is doing uh the i'll call him carnage and we'll call the other guy norman carnage okay or red goblin i guess um but yeah so main carnage he's you know the alpha male he's coming in and he's talking about you know like we're, we're not going to run after them like Venom and, and Spider-Man get away. And he's like, are we going to chase after him? He's like, no. He's like, we're going to, a, a, a lone wolf that runs only catches one prey, but a lone wolf that walks catches all his prey. And then, and, and Cletus or Norman Cletus is like, what? Like, that doesn't make any sense, you know? And he's like, there's other spiders out there, Norman, shut up. And Norman's like, don't call me Norman. I'm not Norman. I'm, I'm uh, you know, I'm, I'm Cletus. And, uh, and he's like, no, you're not. He's like, this little thing you're doing, this play thing where you think you're me, it's cute and I allow it to happen. But just remember, there's only one carnage here. And he like rips the symbiote, he's peeling it off him. And he goes, and I can take this away at any time. And I'm carnage and carnage rules. And I was like, that's awesome. What a nice little throwback to Maximum Carnage and, and the song Carnage Rules as well. So I was like, all right, that's cool. So that while that relationship is building, the Spider-Man Venom relationship is building. And I thought it was handled really well here. I love the scene on the roof where Eddie and Peter are talking. And he's like, Pete we can't win this. Like we, we already in way over heads. We're already losing. And Spider-Man's like, well, what if we go get heroes and people that can help us that can deal with this? And Eddie's like, well, that's your department if you want. And he's like, Eddie, we can't give up, man. He's like, you get knocked down you get right back up. And Eddie's like, yeah, that's, the thing I always found most annoying about you is that you just kept getting back up every time I hit you. And uh, I love it. I, th I think these two connecting in this way has really made me love this series already. Like, and so I hope that continues. They split up in this issue, which I'm like, no, you know, come back together soon. Like, you know, maybe one issue without them together. And then in, by issue four, they need to come back and work together because 
Eddie and, and, and Peter Parker working together, I think is going to be, it's great on the page. It just really, really works on the page. Um, and Donnie Cates doing a great job writing both their dialogues. Uh, and so then, and then meanwhile, you have the maker. So they're setting up all the little tie-ins. So the maker is watching Dylan and Normie Osborne, and they're trying to perfect that codex machine. That's going to spin off into Venom number 17, which we'll review later today and talk about later today. But that episode will probably go up in the next day or two. Um, and then, on top of that, uh, you know, so that relationship is building with uh, Eddie and Peter. Um, and then you, on the other hand, you have, uh, you know, Norman and Cletus, uh, you know, working out their thing. Um, and then you have, uh, you know, the maker working, you know, b having this, uh, you know, to babysit these two kids. So that's another story that spins off. Then there's this great big splash page of Carnage showing like what's happening in the other tie-in books so you see scream you see uh deadpool throwing the the you know the uh microwaves that are on fire that he put all the metal into um so i love that i love that that, that attention to detail was there and you can kind of see easily where each of these tie-ins fit in like where they where they um you know pick up and like i said like my like i was saying before it's clear that a lot of the um tie-ins take place after this issue or during this issue so uh there is a good reading order i can't remember his name but i'll put a picture right here so you can see his name on the discord uh he came up with this really good reading order for this uh series so far for the first month of books and some of the web of venom uh tie-ins leading up to it so i'll put that on the screen here so you can kind of see and i can give him a shout out because I'm, I'm sorry i'm blanking on his name uh, obviously i do a lot of stuff off memory and my memory is dog crap sometimes um but uh but yeah i want to give him some love and, and and for the effort he put in for coming up with a reading order for you guys so there it is and uh this issue uh kind of where it ends though i really love because it brings miles morales back in and i don't want to spoil too much because like i said we'll talk more about spoilers probably on the venomaniacs podcast and again i'll put the link to that in the, the like in a pinned comment down below but this with miles i really loved i thought uh everything they did here with miles and that moment he gets where he's like uh you know we're gonna get ahead of this i'm spider-man i can do this and he's using his like zap power to like take down symbiotes he's fighting alongside matt gargan uh you know the scorpion who shows up in his spinoff book which we'll again we'll talk about later today when i go pick it up and read it and um and review it for you guys but uh I love that and I love the, the 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 I guess the chemistry there but not chemistry where like I'm guessing they're they fight in the book and then the symbiote show up so we'll I'll learn more about that later um but I like you know him trying to be heroic and he's trying to save Matt Gargan and he even like gets a good punch in on Norman Osborn Norman Cletus version of Norman shows up uh to you know to take part in this which I'm like oh how does this tie in maybe this is him after the animated episode where you know he chased down uh Harry Osborn and Normie uh maybe this is after that or something like I you know it's hard to kind of exactly pin that down but I'm gonna guess okay maybe he fought Harry now and now he's back into the main battle on his way back to Noel he runs across you know Miles Morales here there's this one moment with Eddie that I, and I don't really understand too much because it's like an instant like regret thing I don't know maybe it's because I don't know I, I, I'm sure there's an explanation for it I'm sure I'm reading too much into this scene but it's my one kind of nitpicky thing even though it doesn't take away from the story at all I thought this issue was great uh, but there's a moment where Matt Gargan's trying to run away from the battle and Eddie you know grabs them and says no 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 no. Uh, we're gonna go back we're gonna fight these uh you know these whatever they are these symbiotes these carnages we're gonna fight them and we're gonna save that kid we're gonna save spider-man or miles spider-man um you know but he you know venom refers to him as spider-man which is awesome uh because he calls pete pete so now he's like but this is to him he's calling him spider-man so i was like that's cool you know giving uh miles his credit which is awesome because i like i like miles i think he's a great character and so he um you know so the battle's ensuing and miles has been captured but he's like we got to go save the kids. So he throws Matt Gargan back into the fight. And then Matt Gargan falls right into Norman Cletus. Like Norman Cletus shows up and grabs Mac. And he's like, and then, you know, Venom goes, oh crap, no, Mac, stay away from him. And it's like, Mac, stay away from him. You threw Mac right at him. I mean, yeah, you threw him at a pile of symbiotes, but so maybe you didn't know Norman was standing there. But uh, when Norman materialized, you're just like, dude, you fed him to those symbiotes. And now you're like, no, 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 get away, get away. So that little moment, I was like, ah, come on. Like, you know, why did he have to throw him into the battle? Why couldn't, you know, Scorpion see him and go, oh, crap, Venom, and then turn around and get, and then be face to face with, you know, Norman Cletus or something like that would have been, that would have made a little bit more sense, I guess, in a way. Uh, but still, it didn't take away from the story overall. Uh, just one of those moments where I'm like, what? what? He, you threw him, and now you're saying, no, don't go over there. Um, so 
whatever. So anyway, so uh, Mac, though, gets severely injured, and I don't want to go too much more into detail than that, but something big happens there, um, and then also um, something happens with Miles. So I'm excited to read the Miles spinoff. I, I don't know when this takes place in it or, you know, how, uh, what pages it is, so I'm very excited to get over there and see what happens to Miles. Um, but in this one, I thought it ended on a, a pretty good cliffhanger in a way to where you're like, you know, it's a horror story and you get to see something horrific happen at the end of this issue that if you're a fan of that character like I am, uh, you're going to be like, no, 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 no. Like, the, don't don't do this. Don't corrupt this character. Um, so I'm, I'm excited, but it's going to give us a version, at least, of something I've wanted to see uh, since this Donny Cates thing has started, which is a, a new version of Spider Carnage. Uh, that's what I'm going to guess it's going to look like. I don't know because I haven't read the, the Miles issue yet. But it, I'm, that's my theory right now, so I just want to plant that flag here. And I know that kind of gives away a mild spoiler for the issue, but I'm hoping that we get to see like a, a version of Spider Carnage. That would be so cool. That's what I want. Um, but anyway, this issue was fantastic. It, it just hit the ground running again, picked up right where that last issue ended, and it did what I wanted it to do, which is no breather for any characters. There was that one scene where Eddie and, and Peter talk on a rooftop, but it is literally a two page spread and then like a panel from the next page and then the, they hit the ground running again. So it is, it's perfect. It's perfectly paced for me at least. I loved it. I thought it was really well done and the artwork as always is fantastic. So uh, yeah, if you've read this issue, let me know what you think. If you got the digital code, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this issue and make sure you listen to Venomaniacs tonight. We're going to, I'm going to pad that episode up. I'll put the link in the pinned, uh, you know, comment down below because those guys, they've been, you know, Venom fans vocally for years i think almost a decade or over a decade they've been doing venom content on their venom site and they've had this podcast now for like two years and i'm so happy that they you know reached out to me and invited me on so i can't wait we're going to talk about this issue in more depth over there so i probably won't do a discussion episode on this issue or anything like that we have so many other videos and reviews i got to do so uh, i'll just save all my you know deep thoughts about this issue for that episode so make sure i'll consider that an uh, an honorary episode of the venom vlog and when i do my playlist for season three i will include the podcast that they have me on between this episode and the next episode so in the playlist that's where it'll, it'll appear so if you're watching this on a playlist the very next episode will be that podcast because i'll add it to my playlist um so yeah so thank you guys over at venom mania and Venom site for inviting me and uh, thank you guys for watching this episode I really appreciate it I'd love to hear thoughts down below if you agree with me disagree with me if there's something you like didn't like whatever it is talk about it down below and we'll continue our conversation down there thanks so much for watching the show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff now I gotta get to the comic store so I can get the other issues so we can talk about those so without further ado I gotta peace out see ya